You know, historically, if you're writing a clinical trial, the, the line in the sand or the definition of a transplant eligible versus ineligible patient was based on age, the age of 65. Uh, but we know that that's not how it really plays out in the real world, and that patients up to the age of 75 can be transplanted safely and receive the benefits of transplant. So there's really a gray zone that exists. Uh, and in that area, we really look at other factors, such as uh, ability to do activities of daily living, instrumental activities of daily living, comorbidities, uh, you know, other which means other problems that a patient might have to help us really figure out um, how fit or unfit or frail or, or, or hardy a patient is and whether or not they'd be best able to tolerate higher dose chemotherapy with stem cell uh, therapy versus just doing a prolonged induction phase.